Hello, my name is Willie Easter Jr. This is Easter Dinner Dream from the Books coming at you. Peace. This video is about an event and situation that took place on November 24th, 2017, here in my home. On November 24th, 2017, I was arrested in my home after I called the police on trespassers on my property. After I called them, then they got into inquiries and started asking questions about they have a gun in the house. Because neighbor kept reporting that I had guns. And they made an excuse that I was on Facebook holding guns and they, and they felt fearful. Which all it was was just a, a, a lie because most of them didn't like me abandon this house. They, they had an issue with it, even though I can't afford it. But they hate to see a man of color have a home and property, especially in back of places like Gaston in North Carolina. After uh, I said, yes, I did have a gun, I told him you couldn't get a social warrant because you're not coming to my house and searching anything without no warrant. So they put me in handcuffs, me and my brother, for three hours while they go get a search warrant. And we sit on these couches right here for three hours in handcuffs. While the police stood about right here. Just so they can get a search warrant to search my house. After three hours, well, let's go back for a few minutes. After about an hour and a half, I had to use the bathroom. At first, they wouldn't let me do it. Until I told one police officer I was going to sue, sue their ass if I didn't uh, get to use the bathroom. So they let me, let me use the bathroom. Because previously that night, I drunk uh, about three uh, sprites. I had to use the bathroom in, in, in a couple of hours. So it was a time to use it. I was up early that morning because I was off work that day. It was the day right after Thanksgiving. It was a paid holiday off, for me anyway. So we sit on the couch for three hours. Until they brought the warrant in. And they had, they supposed to be wearing uh, uh, body cams to record the entire situation that took place. Just me and my brother sit on these couches right here for three hours in handcuffs. So they just, just so they can come in and search the house. Now they already went into, into the bedroom and found the gun. Because it was in a lockbox. I right, was sitting right here on this, uh, and the gun was out sitting on, the, on this uh, little uh, table right here. And this is, is the lockbox that the gun was in. But that day I had it out of the lockbox on the table. But it wasn't in any child's hand because there were no children living, man. It's just me and my brother. After the search warrant, they started searching the entire house. They came in, into the bathroom, and searched it. Look at all down here. Search down here. Search the, uh, linen, the linen closet, where I keep most of my bathroom supplies. And but I noticed they weren't really looking for no gun, because the gun was already uh, there. It was already found. Because they were trying to discover a reason how could I afford this house. Working at RSI Home Products. Where I worked there for three years and seven months. They also checked my uh, walk-in closet. And they opened up my uh, blue uh, storage bins. Now those bins were basically used. Were basically used for when I come in. When I first moved in, I got I, I kept my clothes in safely and then they hang them up. Most of the stuff you see sitting in this uh, closet, I bought before I moved into this, this, this house. And they kept uh, going on about how many safes I had. This is a safe where I keep a lot of my important documents at. On the corner on the floor is another safe where I keep uh, all my paperwork for my house and my car payments and stuff like that. I keep it that, that down there. Oh, he got all these different safes in here. Where got all these safes from? It's my house, I can't as many safes as I want to. They also uh, 
or he got a, a Ultraman that, that opens up. I, I pretty much keep more from my gym equipment in there, like my jump rope and boxing gloves. And check uh, my bureau here. Or they can find his underwear and socks and uh, stuff, stuff of that sort. And they also lift the bed up and tore it up, trying to look a little bit. And I noticed right then, as I sit in the, in the uh, living room on the couch, they weren't looking for no, uh, no, no, no guns. They were looking for drugs. Because somebody told me I was doing, I was doing drugs. They also checked the closet right here. They also uh, checked my brother's room. And the laundry room that's in here. And this closets. Which are you gonna find is pretty much stuff you do in the laundry, like laundry detergent, pillows, extra pistols, and uh, sheets, stuff like that. Ironing board, just in case you want to iron. Wash machine, vacuum cleaners. But they kept being a little bit fascinated on the, uh, my surveillance uh, camera here. I got an office over here. There's a thing going through, going through this closet too. But as you can see, I keep everything organized. Everything I care to rack, uh, uh, catalog and put it in one place and that's why I can find everything real easy. But this is the stuff they were going through and they were looking for no good, like I said earlier. Someone told them that you must be doing drugs if you get for that house. So I discovered a lot of people in the neighborhood don't own a house. A lot of people in this neighborhood are leasing. They're not buying anything. My house, I'm actually buying. I'm a single black man, since you since want to put it that way, with no kids and never been married. So therefore, I know how to save my money and put it away. And I don't party a lot. If I got very little party, this is the garage. They also came in here, and they noticed another safe on the floor. But you see, I don't have a key for this safe. This safe belonged to my father. And when he passed on, he didn't tell any of us where the key was, so I never did try to open it. So what was in this safe, it's going to remain in that safe. And I noticed they didn't even try to go in the safe. They, they, didn't, they didn't even break it open. The safe didn't belong to me, it belonged to my father. And then, they even... Went up into the into the attic. Because one of them was making a, a joke about they went into the man's house and he was having drugs in, in, in an attic under the installation. So what they're doing is they came up here and they stayed up here for, for I think about 10 or 15 minutes looking through uh, empty containers that I had up here that I, that I placed up here after I moved in. And a lot of these empty containers had uh, documents and uh, breakables that I didn't want put in in a uh, in top of a moving truck. So I put it in the back of my car. That way I was able to get him in here. It's also got a lot of uh, personal awards that my father had. Where he worked in American Ether for over 30 years. But I noticed they were going under the insulation and looking at all, at all the insulation. This is part one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video right here and turn the light on so you can see better.